The Always Create Backup feature will initially create a backup copy of the original workbook, after which that copy will backup always on the second save of the original workbook. So for example, here's my original workbook. It's called Create Backup. And I want to go ahead and turn on the feature to always create a backup. To do that, you want to go ahead and come up here on the Quick Access Toolbar and click on Save As, or hit the F12 key on the keyboard, or go backstage to file the Save As. In any case, bring up the Save As window. Because in the Save As window, you want to click on the Tools to go down to General Options. And it's right there. Check Always Create Backup. Click OK. Click Save to update that with the feature turned on. And then say Yes. And then go ahead and close out of it. And you can see now on my desktop, I have a backup of my original workbook. And how can you tell the difference between the two? Well, a couple ways. One, this one says Backup, and then the name of the original workbook. And then you can see when I hover over it, the pop-up says it's an Excel backup file. And then you can also see the icons, one on top of another, the spreadsheets, and the arrow point to the one behind it, meaning that that's a backup of the original on top. And then if you have your extensions turned on, well, if you don't, you want to learn about extensions, then you can watch my Windows training video on extensions. You can see it's .xlk as opposed to .xlsx. So that's the backup. And if I double-click to open it up, and say yes, of course I trust this. Then you can see it's just a snapshot of the original. So let's go ahead and close out of it, go back to the original, double click Create Backup, and make a change. So instead of Doug, how about if we go ahead and add Ease for Doug Ease, hit Enter and click Save. Now when I click Save, it doesn't update the backup, because the whole purpose behind this is that you're one edit ahead of the backup. So you've got what you wanted here by clicking Save, and then the backup, in case if you made a mistake after you saved it, you go, oh, what was it before? Was it Douglas? Douglas? Then you can go ahead and close out, and go back to the backup, which is right there, Backup, double-click, and say, yes, we trust it. And then there it is. The original was Doug. So if I close out of here, and then go back to my original, double-click, and I say, okay, let's go ahead and make another change. I just learned again, he's not Doug E's, he's Doug's. And hit enter and click save. Then it takes what used to be there, because it's the second save, and it updates it, not with the latest here, but what was before. It was Doug E's. So if I go ahead and close out of here, and open up the backup down below, double click. Of course I trust it. There it is, Doug E's. So the whole purpose is, is with this one edit ahead of the backup is that the latest change that was made is going to be in your original, but then after that when you click save for the second time, it'll copy over what used to be there into the backup. And to prove my point, let's go ahead and close out of the backup and go back to the original. And say, okay, we've got Doug's, let's go ahead and just do D Heffernan and hit enter. When I click Save, it doesn't update the backup, but if I go ahead and click Save again on the second save, it actually updates it to everything that I have here. So now I no longer have a backup, I just have a snapshot of my original. So long story short, don't ever click Save twice in the same session, because then you won't have a backup. For example, when I close out of here and I go to the backup, double click to open it up, and say yes, guess what? It's D. Heffernan. And then, of course, if you want to turn it off, you no longer want to be connected to the backup or have the backup, then let's go ahead and close out of the backup, go back to the original, double-click, and then bring up the Save As window, hit the F12 key on the keyboard, go down to Tools, to General Options, and uncheck or break the link to that second workbook, which is the backup. Click OK, click Save, saying that you want to replace it with those changes. Say Yes. Go ahead and close out. It's no longer connected. How do you know? Well, if I go ahead and open it back up, the original, and I delete Heffernan Douglas here, or D, and I click save, 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 save. Well, that's the second save plus then some, so it ought to reflect the original here completely. So if we close out, that is if it was still connected, and go back to the backup here and double click and say yes, we trust it. It doesn't because it's no longer linked. We broke the link. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.